Hello, I'm Jay Kotar, and in this video I'm going to show you how to propagate Echeverias. So, here I have my Echeverias that I propagated around a year ago. Here I have some that I propagated in the spring, that, that was around 4 to 6 months ago. So, I'm going to teach you how to propagate from leaf so let's prepare our soil mix. So here I have half of <coughs> half of peat moss. So this is you could you can call it dead soil if you wish because it doesn't have any nutrients or any microorganisms that would help help plant to grow. So here I have some compost up around 10% of compost so and some other mixes of older compost and some older soil so let's mix this together so here is my mix I added a little more of compost so it's more fertile for my succulents because even succulents aren't so mineral thirsty they still need some minerals and some nutrients so here I prepared pot for leaf cuttings or leaf propagation and here I have some smaller pots for older leaf propagated plants so plants like this so first and something like this so here is few months old maybe two months so I'm just going to little bit push it a little bit in the soil so not too much so this plant doesn't have any roots yet so I'm going to collect some older one so let's pick this one so the roots rooted in this cocoa pur so here you have some roots on the bottom the leaf root root leaf so here you can see that it has one two three four different pulps so they will probably need some transplanting in in next year so for now we're just going to push it in soil so I make something like this small hole, hole for roots and then I just pinch it in so the plant is in soil or the roots are in soil so these two I can water them but the leaf cuttings I will not be watering them for a week and then I will be watering them uh, every now and then so every few weeks or something because they need still because they still need water and they can survive on their own so as you can see the older Eshwarias have some flower but so I'm going to remove older leaves so just like this and I'm going to put them this side so some of are very easy to break off and some are very hard to break so they have all of this at the end of 
So when picking, always pick in left or right, not down and up, but left or right. So this is some tip for easier leaf. So some leaves, as you can see here, are quite older or maybe dry. Uh, so make sure that you water plants few hours before doing leaf cuttings. So and to pull them off. So I'm pulling off just the bottom leaves so because I want to obtain the crown or obtain the upper plant so it's still beautiful and it also doesn't need so many leaves so I will probably be pulling away around that much of leaves so there still be enough leaves to left to be left with the shveria so it will still look okay and let's go to the next stage so one extra tip so how to make those long succulents look like this so short and nice so pull plant out of the soil or pot remove other leaves and if the plant has roots that's a lot better but if it doesn't have it will still root so Remove, you remove leaves, I will show you one more time. Removing bottom leaves, making hole, so the same length of this So then, I forgot this one. So then put it inside soil, so in the middle of course, so that's it, you have a plant that isn't, it isn't stretched and in a few weeks you will have rooted plant, so in a few months you could have plant like this so I will have to propagate or shorten this as well so I will be cutting it somewhere down here so around 2 centimeters of the stem will go into dirt so this one will be on pot so it will look amazing so I will be doing this after blooming, so first I'm going to wait it to bloom. So that's it. So next step is to order leaves so they look good or in the way that you like. So I lay, lay them in this spot like this. You can also go with something like this, something like this, this, uh, just throw them on the on the soil. So here I have some succulent that I have, so I don't know if, if it if it's Ischeveria, but I'll still try to propagate it for, for the first time, so here's, uh, here are some leaf cuttings, so this was, was drawing for a week 
or something similar so I'm going to put in soil so it's about centimeter to two centimeters in soil so in few months we'll see results of not rooting or rooting so here's some variety of Echeveria that I made cuttings so here is another one and this is the main one that I have for now so let's go to the rooted leaves so I wanted to show you a few of them so here you can see a well rooted cutting so it has a strong root system and a small butt but it will be probably very strong because it has root system and the root system is impo more important in the beginning than in few months so this sucker will probably be much faster growing than this which has very little roots so the leaf cuttings aren't going with the same paste as you can see because these are all of them are the same age but some are very small some will be well rooted some will be less rooted so just try it and don't complicate it too much so all, and always keep them on a warm and sunny location so let's make that real fast so here I have some cuttings from last from, from spring and here there will be new rooted plants so an update is coming in few months probably when they started to grow so see you next time thanks for watching have a nice day and goodbye